Okay, we are live. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Good evening from Vietnam. Good um, evening to uh, Sydney, Australia. Uh, and uh, good afternoon, good uh, morning to everyone. Oh, sorry. Good afternoon from Vietnam and Sydney. <laughs> good morning, good evening to everywhere all over, to all over the world from uh, wherever you are. Uh, I'm Maria Hạnh Nguyễn from Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, I'm um, uh, for people who don't know me. I'm a purchasing officer full time, a mom of two, and also a digital business owner. Um, and today, I'm very happy to invite Mr. De Mr. David from Sydney, Australia, to my page to share about um, his journey. So, thank you, David, for accepting my invitation. Thank you. Yeah, thank uh, you, Maria. It's lovely. I mean, we've talked a few times before, and so it's yeah. nice to have one-on-one -on -one interview. It's great, great fun. Yes. Thank you, David. So uh, could you please introduce about yourself so um, my audience on my page and uh, my friends can know about you a little bit? Yeah, okay. As Maria said, I'm David from Sydney in Australia. Mm -hmm. I'm 55. I have uh, 23, well, my daughter will be 23 in a couple of months. My son will be 20 next month. They're actually overseas at the moment, enjoying a holiday wow. in Thailand. They're enjoying a holiday in Thailand. Um, so it's good. I've got the house to myself for a weekend. It's great because we're on holiday here in Sydney. Um, I have a lawnmower and gardening business that I just operate by myself. It's only a small business. I don't want to make it too big, just something manageable for myself. Mm -hmm. Before I had the, the that business, I was in the Australian Army 13 years, but I had an accident. I hurt my right knee and both of my ankles, so I had to, had to leave yeah. the Army. So then I, I thought, what can I do? So I started lawnmower and gardening business because it's you know something easy I can do by myself. But it's getting too much for me now for my for my body like walking so much every day it's just getting too much mm -hmm. now i have this digital business um so you know that's where my future will well, that's where my future will lay that's what that's the direction i'm going to go to i actually um i'm doing a master of of, of applied linguistics to teach english i'm almost finished my master's degree and I, yeah. my plan is, because I've been talking to a lot of my business partners in Vietnam, and I've been talking to a few contacts there in English centres. There's a lot of work there. A lot of people need, want to learn English. So they can like, come to, say, Australia, America, Canada, to go to university. So they need to have that level of English. So I'm thinking later this year, I'm going to go to Ho Chi Minh City to an English centre and teach English. That's just another wow. that's just another step, you know. I mean the world's a big place. There's a lot so many opportunities out there to do something different. So I thought, you know, why why not? I'll go to Vietnam. I've met lots of Vietnam um, business part Vietnamese business business partners. So I thought, you know, why not? Wow, you're so amazing <laughs> about changing a lot, and um, you still you still keep your spirit about learning and uh, doing um, uh, instead of your ages. Yes, so um, uh, thank you, David, for your um, for your um, uh, introduction introduction uh, introduction. So, um, uh, David, I would like to ask uh, that um, uh, why why did you start this online business as a side hustle? Um, I wasn't actually looking for anything like this. I honestly, I wasn't even looking. The Australian government has raised the um, retirement age for males in Australia to seventy, which would mean I've got to work for another fifteen years. I can't do the lawnmower and gardening for fifteen year, more years because although I'm fit here and here, my my body is getting older. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't actually looking for an online business. I was just on Facebook one day looking around, you know, news and different stories. And I came across this ad about this online business. Mm -hmm. And I friended the person who who um, put the ad on Facebook. 
And she, she actually lives in Sydney. She's in the Blue Mountains, it's called, here in Sydney. Probably an hour, hour and a half driving the car to where she lives. She's also from Vietnam and she's, she's a lovely, lovely woman. You know, she's, she's awesome. She's great. Wow. Um, I asked her about the online business and she said, look, you can have, click on here and there's more information. There's a link that you can click on to get more information, which I did. And I looked at it. I, I watched this webinar, this workshop four times. And each time I went back to her and asked yeah, her. The same like me. I watched the webinar yeah. so many times, both live yeah. and replay version. <laughs> yeah. I wrote down so many questions. And every time I would watch it, I went back to her and asked her more questions. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, this is something I can do. I don't need to be. I can. As I said to you earlier, I'm sitting in my kitchen here at the table talking to you okay i'm sydney you're you're in hanoi it's amazing okay that we can do this yes we just need our we just need our laptop or our computer or our phone and we can we can do our business so yes so that you know and the more i got to know her and i trusted her i built up a trust system i googled online business i found out what online businesses are about but a lot of them are scams they just want money that's all they want Send us money, send it here. And where am I sending this money? Where's this money going to? Yes. I don't know. But the, the more trust I built up with my friend, we became really good friends. We're still friends now. She's away for the weekend driving with her two daughters. So she's sending photos all the time. And I'm so jealous. But anyway, <laughs> she's having a good weekend. Yes. So I decided to get into this business because I decided it's something I can do. Stop doing the lawnmower gardening. I'll give myself one more year, yeah. completely do this full time, okay? Yes. All, that's not, all that's not something you need to do full time. You just need to dedicate, say, like I can do this four hours per day and the rest of the day is free. But what I mean by full time is this is the only work that I will do. So I can concentrate on this, build it up, Um. Yeah, maybe maybe 10, 20 years down the road, down the track. Mm -hmm. I've built this up big enough. I'll give it to my kids. They can they can run it. You know, they can run it part time doing doing their daytime job, but this is also their business too. So they they reap the reward of like the extra income, you know? Yes, yes, so, yes. So there's so much an opportunity. That's why I chose this business. Yes, that's amazing. Um uh as you say that uh, you want to um, uh, just want to do your lawn garden business for uh, uh, about one or several years later, and then you can come to um, concentrate on this online business as your full time full time um, job because um, uh, we all see the potentials of, of this online business. Uh, it helps us for um, our retirements um uh, for some time that um uh, uh, in the future we can pass it off for our um, children um uh, we can help them for extra incomes right uh, yeah. so it is amazing because it not only help um uh, ourselves it help um, people around us yes uh, so, David, um, uh, so many of my uh, friends, my um, audience say that um, um, they are not good at English. Uh, whether they can do this online business or not, please help me um, answer. They just need a basic level of English, okay, because the webinars in English, okay, or they my coach, mm -hmm. my friend, who is now my coach, she is also from Vietnam and she has a Vietnam, Vietnamese version of the webinar that she can talk to you, like discuss with you. They just need a basic level of English, okay? I have so many business partners in Vietnam now, okay? I've met, I've met people from around the world, okay, doing this business. Vietnam, Italy, United Kingdom, um, America, South Canada. America. New Zealand, Canada, everywhere, okay? And yes. some of my friends, some of my business partners who are friends, okay? You and me, we're, we're friends. We've talked before. This is not the first time we've talked. If So your friends know that and my, my friends are watching. They know that too. So we've talked before, but this is our first one-on-one -on -one interview. Yes. <laughs> um, some of our friends that you know and I know that we, we've spoken to together, 
are very shy with their English because they're scared of making a mistake. So I'm quite open to help them, you know, help them with their English. So yeah. if someone's scared about joining this business because they think their English is not good enough, forget that because there's always someone to help you, okay? Everyone in this community will help you. Like everyone in my team yes. will help someone. Everyone in your team will help help you. Okay, a lot of the, my team members are Vietnamese. I think there's one Indian lady who lives in Sydney who I talk to quite often. Majority are from Vietnam because my coach is a Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. But they're all they their level of English varies, but they're all they're all not shy to try. Okay, this is a part about this business. Okay, it's about trying, building up your confidence. Yes. As you as you know, our group interview last week, okay, with our friend Miss Tan, okay, yes. she's a bit <laughs> shy with her English, but she did that interview in English and she was fine. She was nervous, yes. but she was yes. great, and she did it. And at the end of it, she texts me, sent me a message. Oh, Dave, I'm so happy. It was it, it all went so good. <laughs> so it builds up her confidence, okay. Yes, so that's that's what this business does. It will build your confidence. Mm -hmm. don't, don't worry about your level of English, okay? That's the last thing you need to worry about. What you need to worry yes. about. <laughs> what you need to um, worry about is starting the business, concentrating on running your business, and the English part of it. Well, that will come. And if you have a problem, ask someone. Like yes. your English is fine. So if a friend of yours who's Vietnamese and say, um, "Miss Maria, I'm I'm not unsure about this," you will help them. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> Thank don't you. Worry, um, don't don't yes. worry about English. Don't worry. It's yes, fine. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you know, um, uh, I, I thought to them that actually this will be the opportunity for you to learn English better, right? Because in this online business, we uh, meet people from every um every countries from all over yeah. the world. That's the chance for us to make friends, to talk to um people uh, with English. Uh, and uh, to practice English more and especially in our business we have the training site we have the coach and mentors and we have group of people from the native uh, language uh, so they can help um, they can help you to um, understand how to do it uh, what to do and no matter your English is good or bad the important thing is you want to learn right you exactly. want to learn, you want to improve, so you can do everything. <laughs> yeah. Like this yes. business, being a business owner with that global community, as you just said, Maria, will give you the confidence, okay? And you'll, you'll forget about your English. That's the last thing you'll be thinking of. What you'll be thinking of is, oh, wow, I've, now I've got an online business. I'm going to make it successful. I'm going to make it great. So you're thinking in here, you're not even thinking about English. Because you'll be talking to someone in, you know, in England, in the United Kingdom. I talked to someone earlier this morning. She was in Africa. Okay? So it doesn't matter yeah. where you're from. And if your English yeah. is, a, you know, not perfect, who cares? I, mm -hmm. I don't pick faults in people's English. If someone needs me to help them, I'll help. But if I'm talking to someone and their English is not clear, mm -hmm. I just let it go and we just keep talking okay no need to embarrass someone so don't worry about it <laughs> you know um i use english for so many years to um uh, to work at the office and i i think that english is only the uh, the the uh, the way we communicate with each other and the um, aim of the um, uh, conversation uh, conversation when we are uh, using English to communicate that uh, people can understand each other and no matter where uh, no matter what um, how how bad or good your English is the most important thing is uh, we understand in that conversation right yeah um, even even me um, in some our view talking uh, speaking English people come in and uh, they comment oh bad English but I don't care because our audience can understand me and uh, you know uh, in Vietnam we have uh, different uh, regions 
the north, the middle, and mm. in the, um, the south. So mm. um, the 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 south, the, uh, the accent from uh, um, every uh, regions are different. So this. Now, the same is with um, uh, English, right? We have uh, American accent, U uh, um, UK or Philippines or um, uh, Australia. They are different. So no matter where, no matter how your English is good or bad, the the most important thing we understand each other and um, and and uh, we use it to um, to uh, communicate, to earn, to work. Yes. No matter how, no matter what, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. So tell your friends, don't worry about English, okay? It's fine. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> so, uh, Dave, uh, do you think that um, uh, I, I know that uh, you are fifty-five, right? So, uh, do you think that uh, the age has any impacts on doing this business? No, no, not <laughs> sorry, all, not, sorry about not, this. <laughs> Not at all, okay? Okay, I'm 55, but in here yes. and in here, I'm 18, okay? <laughs> so age is not a problem, all right? Anyone can do this. I wouldn't, okay, I wouldn't advise someone who's, you know, younger than 25 to be doing this because at that age, you want to be out enjoying your life. You're just starting your career. You might be just finishing uni. You're starting your career. You're not yet married and have kids. What you need, what you want to be doing, say under 25, starting your career, going out with your friends, enjoying your life, okay? After that, then you can maybe start thinking about, you know, an online business, a backup plan, because maybe I'm happy in my job, but maybe I need something to back up. Maybe something might happen. Like with this, with this pandemic, with this virus, who knew this was happening two, three years ago? So many people have lost their jobs. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have turned to the online space because you can do it just sitting here. Like I'm sitting in my kitchen. You're sitting at your home. You don't need to go to an office. So we can operate our business online. So, you know, anyone can do it. So, and even like I said, I know. They want me to retire at 70. There's no way I can do keep working as I'm doing, but I can do this business till I'm 80. As long as I'm as long as I still got my brain, I can still do it until I'm 80, you know. And I know because I enjoy doing this. Like it's Sunday afternoon, Mary Maria. And you know, seven months ago, if you had asked me what I'd be doing at 4 a.m. 4 p.m. Sunday afternoon, I'd be at the pub or at my friend's house drinking beer, watching football, but here I am in my kitchen talking to you about business. It's, you know, it's a total different lifestyle now and it's yeah. something that I enjoy and I can enjoy doing it for many, many years. It's not mm – -hmm. the only thing I need to do is stay on top of the training, which is updated all the time, come up with new ideas to sell myself because I'm not selling a product. I'm selling me. I'm selling David, okay? Yes. So I need to <laughs> – I need to think of new ways to do that. And doing these interviews is awesome to be able to do that. But it puts my puts my personality out there. As I said, I spoke to a lady from Africa this morning. I'm going to speak to another lady from Africa tomorrow afternoon. Um, I feel like I'm a movie star because people have been reaching out to me. For <laughs> yes. So a lot of interviews because people are reaching out because they see me doing an interview. Wow. So, oh. <laughs> You are a superstar. I watched you do an interview. Would you like to do another interview? I mean, I'm not I'm not Brad Pitt. I wish I was, but <laughs> <laughs> I wish I I wish I was as handsome as Brad Pitt. Yes. But, um, but um yeah, so any any age can do this, you know. Like I wouldn't advise someone under 25, and that that's honest because we're not trying to sell your business, it's your decision. So I wouldn't advise anyone that young. Because mm -hmm. it's it's honestly, and I swear, swear in my heart, it's not something that you know under twenty five would need to do. You know, enjoy your life and then start thinking about the future. Okay, but when you're at my age, you need to be thinking of the future. And I and like I said, I can do this for another twenty years if I want to. Mm -hmm. This is not hard sitting here talking to you on a Sunday. I mean, look at your beautiful smile. What what? 
what else would I want to be doing? <laughs> like last weekend, okay, when we had our group interview. Yes. With my five, with my five beautiful friends from Vietnam. <laughs> you how, are the how, superstar in our community. <laughs> how, how, how lucky was I? And I thought I'm enjoying doing this because yes. I love talking to all of you and I've talked to all of you individually. But last week we organized the group meeting and it was it was yes. great. I, mean, yes. I really enjoyed doing it. Yes. And I think I saw, were you in the group meeting yesterday? The Your team meeting? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, because I saw the photos of that from Miss Lan. Yes, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I asked her, could I put them on my Facebook and share them mm -hmm. so I could show everyone, yeah. With, yes. you, and, with you and Hang. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and I think, and I think Rosie, and Rosie yeah. was there too. Yeah, I saw the people that I know. Yes. <laughs> it, looks so much, it looks like so much fun, okay? So mm -hmm. there's no age and there's no – and, like, you've all come together as friends now, which is the best part of this. I've met so many new people. Yes. And your meeting yesterday is proof of that. You you probably didn't know each other. Maybe you knew some of them, but you didn't know all of them months yes. ago. And so your team meeting yesterday looked really, really good. It looked like <laughs> it's so fun, David. <laughs> um, yesterday we have group meeting of live and online both. Uh, some of our team member from the north. Um, uh, yes, from the the south and the middle it comes to Hanoi, and uh, we have group meeting, and uh, then we connect with the international team uh, via Zoom. And uh, we um, we share so much information about yeah. the uh, yeah. working on looks... safety and um, uh, the um, uh, the way how we um, uh, do the business. We answer the questions and uh, the um, uh, the way how we uh, create ad advertisement campaigns uh, on um, uh, our business. So um, uh, so much information and so much fun because. Um, uh you you know that um in in um in the in, on the internet we may uh, file so so many scams but in this yeah. business we ha we found so many true friends and yeah. we are so happy for that and not only in vietnam we have so many friends from all over the world um yeah. uh, no matter uh, how old they are no matter what background uh we make true friends and we support we have each other in this song yeah, business yeah, it's amazing yeah. yes. that's why that's why i asked lan i asked hang i asked i think you mm -hmm. did i have permission to share those photos and you know you i think lamb miss lamb was asleep she got back to me this morning she said yeah post it and i said no, i already did so <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. So, Dave, um, when you do this online business, any uh, difficulties, uh, the advantage and disadvantage you have to deal with? Um, I won't say difficulties. What it was was I had to adapt because this is something completely different. Mm -hmm. I've never done online business before, okay? I've studied online. Mm -hmm. um, I did a business degree when I was in the Army. I'm yes. studying online now, doing my master's degree. Mm -hmm. So being online is no problem to me. Um, I had to adapt and adjust my time to spend time doing this. As I said, it's 4 p.m., 20, 20 minutes past 4, Sunday afternoon. I had to adjust myself because, like I said, normally I'd be having a beer watching football. <laughs> so we're sitting here discussing business, okay? So... I won't say that's a struggle. I just had to adapt. I had to change my attitude in here because mm -hmm. this is my online business, okay? This is my business. It's no one else's business. But I do have business partners helping me like you. Like if i got a problem, I can ask Maria. Yes. Maria, how do I do this? And, you know, you'll say, Dave, I'll, I'll help you. If I don't know, I'll find out. Or I can go to my coach. I can go to my mentor, any one of my team members. And so everyone will help me, okay? Yes. Um, starting up this business, you know, it was, it was relatively easy because everything's there for you. The training's there. The training's quite straightforward, but you just got to go through each step. 
Yes. That's skip anything. I would get lazy and skip something. And then I'd go to my coach and I would say, oh, how do I do that? And she would say, did you watch step four? And I went, oh. <laughs> uh, no, I um, skipped that. So she say, go back and do skip. Go back and do step four. And if you still don't understand, then come back and ask me. But watch that first. Don't cheat. <laughs> She, she's awesome. I love my coach. She is the most beautiful woman. You, you, I think you probably know her. I think you do know her. Yes. And but she's always very strict, and she says, "Don't ask me until you do the training. Then come back yes. and ask me." Yeah. <laughs> so I had no struggles, and the setup was quite easy because I had someone help me build my business page. Mm -hmm. Although I know my, I know how to operate a computer and do all that online. There's no way I could have built a business page. Someone within the community helped me do it. Actually, he's in Vietnam, and when I travelled to Vietnam, I owe him so many – I owe him lots of beers or scotch, I think he wants. Yes. Because <laughs> he helps me all the time. He, he's very. He's a very nice man. He's great. So, yeah, yeah no, no struggles, just learning to adapt and how to run an online business because, as I said, it is your business. Don't just think you bought a business and that's it. You need to actually turn up and do the work too. Mm -hmm. So, um, as your story, I I can um, say that no matter how we are, so no matter what background we are, we uh, just learn how to set up and uh, run our online business step by step. Right? We just yeah. learn and adapt because uh, we have all everything in our training side. Uh, step one, step two. And everything down forward, straightforward, you need to do. One thing is, the second is, the third is step by step. So uh, you will follow and you adapt and um, you have any instruction, the help, the support from coach and mentors and the community to uh, do this online business. So uh, there is no, there is no different difficulties about the uh, uh, technology because um, uh, we are trained we are trained and coached to do that the I, I think that the hardest part is about ourselves right yeah that's right yeah. <laughs> you've got and like you just said Maria about coach and mentor okay my coach she lives in Sydney not far from me we've never met face to face but we're always in contact mm -hmm. my mentor is in um, Canada. She's also Vietnamese. She's she lives in Canada. Mm -hmm. She's just taking some time out because of some health problems with I think one of the ch children. So she's just taking some time off. But she's in contact still. But yeah, you know, she's not in contact as much as she was because I think one of the kids has got a a problem. But anyway, that that's not not that's personal. But. But with the community, I can ask anyone a, a question because my coach, although she's in Sydney, I can't expect her to answer because I I work in the day. I come home and do some work on this business and I study and I might not go to bed until like 2 a.m. because I study and I do a bit more on this business, have a look around, you know, the, the training site. And if I've got a question, I can't just ask my coach because I don't expect her to be available 24-7. She needs the sleep, obviously. <laughs> but I can ask, I can put a question on our Facebook page for our, our, our global community and someone will always answer. So yes. there's always someone there to help. So, you know, there's no, there's no difficulty. It's, it's an easy, it's not easy to set up. You have to have to adapt to it, but there's always somewhere and someone there to help you. Yes, and the, the the reason why I say that the hardest part, the hardest part is um ourself, yeah, because uh, it is on our spirit, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we have the we have to have the uh, high spirit of learning because uh, this is our online business. It don't depend. It doesn't depends on others. It depends on ourselves. We have to yeah. um, learn, we have to decide, we have to try to uh, make everything happen. So, yeah. Dave, so many um, questions, so many information. 
thank you so much and um the the, the last thing i would like to um, to ask that uh, do you have some uh, or any advices for our audience for um, uh, the people who are interested in uh, in this online business um as i did and as maria would have done and as everyone else who's in this business would have done before us is do do some research if you're interested do your research don't just jump in and say yeah i've got an online business you have to do your research okay and myself or maria we're not going to push you and say oh you need to buy this business to make me look good and make me earn some more money we, we don't do that okay yes. so don't be scared about that but do your research have a think about it go away have a think ask your husband ask your wife ask you know whoever is this for me? Is this what I want to be doing? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you might come back and say, yes, this is what I want to do. Because it's it's something that's worthwhile doing. You, you will find benefit of life, okay? I used to lay in bed at night because I said to Maria about how I need to work till I'm 70. But now I lay, now I don't stress anymore because I know I've got this business. Okay, I'm starting slowly because I've got the other business to operate because the other business that I run pays my bills. Yes, yes. yes. So obviously, I have to concentrate more on that. But gradually, this will take over and I'll concentrate more on this, less on the other. And in one year, I give myself one year. That's my goal. No more outside lawn gardening business, just online business. Enjoy myself, have more time. Um. I went to the middle of Australia about a month ago to as to Uluru, it's called, okay? They have the big rock in the middle of Australia. I don't know if you've seen it. Maybe some of your guests have. But I took my laptop and my phone out there with me and I had Wi-Fi and I was doing some yes. training while I was out there on holiday and I was just enjoying the view and I'm thinking, look at this. This is awesome. I'm doing some work here. <laughs> yes. So, that's the part that I love about this business. It's my business, no one else's business, okay? I'm part of a community, but no one else owns it, so I own it myself. Yes. I have so many new friends like you, all our other Vietnamese friends that we all that we both know. Um, my advice is if you if you want to get into this business, do your research, talk to Maria, like register on her website, which is there for the webinar, or register on mine. Hey, register on mine, okay? <laughs> Joking. Joking, Maria. <laughs> register online and get more information. And then if you've got any questions, come back to Maria or myself and we can help you and we can, like, not push you in the right direction, but just guide you and tell you more information if that's what you need. There's no – to watch that webinar, there's no risk, okay? You don't pay any money to watch the webinar, Okay, hundred percent honest because we're not we're not we, we don't cheat we're not liars in this business. The next step there is a small fee, but it's thirty days and it's refundable. If you're not happy after thirty yes. days, and if like Maria said earlier, if it's not for you, well, if it's not for you, ask for your money back and get your money back, and we'll say bye bye. But we're we're still always friends, not a problem. Yes. Then after that, you take the next step, and then boom, you're a business owner. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you for your advice. I also want to uh, say something that uh, this is an opportunity for you because uh, Maria, can I just Maria, can I just say one thing? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> to tell you, this is not a scam. Okay, the Australian tax office in Australia is very strict. Okay. Mm -hmm. They watch everything. They monitor your bank accounts. They monitor everything, okay? So I had to register my business with the Australian tax office. Yes. That will prove to you this is not a scam. It's a real yes. business that the Australian government knows that I own, okay? Yes. So that can tell you it's not a scam. Sorry, I, I meant to say that, but I forgot. <laughs> Thank you for your reminder. Um, I, I would like to say again that this is an opportunity for anyone who want to raise your uh, raise your income and raise yourself. As you know, because in this business, we not only earn money, we um, also improve ourselves. Uh, we yeah, change yeah. our mindset. 
and uh, we change our life literally because um, when you um, come inside after you register uh, your email address in our website, you watch the webinar, you pay $149, then you go inside, you will see how the business change people's life literally because not only we um, earn money from that, we also change our mindset and it changed our life. So um, if you are interested in this online business, register email and uh, your name into our website, uh, Marias or to David. And uh, don't worry about that, uh, whether you need to, <laughs> you, you, you decide to sign up because in this online business, we support each other. And um, uh, for some people, uh, anyone you like, you register um, with them and you uh, start with them. You um, uh, learn about this online business and make your own due diligence because uh, this is important to define, uh, to, uh, define whether the online business is um, uh, legal um, or not. Uh, so then uh, you can decide what to do with us. And we do not chase people, right? Uh, we just encourage you to um, do your own decisions uh, and um, you make your decision uh, uh, by yourself. So thank you, David. <laughs> thank you for your time um, uh, spending with me um, for the interview on my page. And I hope you have a good day uh, on Sydney. And uh, thank you for everyone on my page. Um, tuning in with us, uh, follow us and uh, listening to our sharings today. Thank you, David. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much, Marie, for inviting me. Okay. You're awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.